This is the third video in a several part series that I've made for you on common scams that you need to know about before studying anything else about your small business. Remember to watch until the very end of this video to see the entire playlist containing all of the common scams that I've personally dealt with on PayPal, my website, Etsy, and Amazon. Make sure that you watch until the very end of this video, as this one is a bit more intensive and contains a lot of information that you need to be aware of to safeguard your business. The most common scam we deal with is actually quite unfortunate, as we have little evidence to prove innocence for any customer who isn't actually trying to scam us. This scam is known as the marked as delivered scam. In this scam, the customer will usually buy one item, and once the item is delivered to their home, they will reach out to the seller claiming that the package never arrived. They will then request you to refund them or send a replacement. In about 99% of cases, I never send a replacement or a refund, and I'm about to tell you why. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. This is really poor customer service. Yes, you were correct, but I'll have to tell you why we had to adopt this strict policy on the matter. Early 2018, I decided I wanted to match Amazon customer service levels. I thought it was a great way to build my brand on a solid customer service foundation. I wanted to go above and beyond for all of my customers. Because I only encountered this issue perhaps once a month, I figured it was so infrequent that I could just begin absorbing the cost personally to provide best, better customer service for everybody. We replaced two or three marked as delivered packages and within maybe two weeks, this issue started coming up almost daily. We thought, this is so strange. What was before a very uncommon occurrence began creeping up almost daily. And of course, when reviewing our traffic stats for another reason, I realized that the majority of my traffic was coming from a private Reddit thread. That's odd, why is this Reddit thread private, right? Okay, so with a little detective work, we figured out that it was a get free stuff on Etsy thread and users were posting about our vulnerability. The significant increase in missing package claims was 100% correlated to this Reddit forum. We immediately implemented our old policy of aiding the customer in locating the package, but we were no longer replacing or refunding and gradually these claims completely diminished. That month, we saw dozens, if not almost 100 complaints about packages never arriving. This is over about 1,000 orders. So that's like 10% of our orders for that month didn't show up. Now we're back to our old numbers of about 1 in 500 orders where people complain that this happens, which I think is a pretty normal ratio, but we still don't automatically refund or replace the package. Now, as much as I want to match Amazon's customer service levels, where if you claim the item was marked as delivered, but it never arrived, Amazon will immediately apologize and ship out a new one. But I dug a little deeper. Do they really do that? After a little bit of research, we found that Amazon has a detailed tracking system that prevents fraudulent claims like this. They keep track of everyone's addresses of frequent offenders, and they only allow replacements when the customer does not claim loss often or ever. If you are a repeat offender, they either stop accepting responsibility, and in other cases, they completely ban you from Amazon. As a small business, you and I don't have this level of software to keep track of all of our customers. And with people ordering from me much less frequently than they do from Amazon, it doesn't really make sense for me to keep track of this information. It's also unlikely that a customer will order from me often enough for where I can identify scam patterns. So how do I currently handle this situation? Often it's best to tell the customer to wait a few more days as usually if there's a legitimate issue with their package not being delivered but marked as delivered, USPS is probably trying to meet delivery quotas from their boss and they're actually gonna deliver it tomorrow. It's a little scummy, but these guys are just trying to avoid getting fired by meeting these quotas. If after, say, two or three days, the package hasn't arrived, tell the customer plainly that you're unable to replace or refund packages that have been marked as delivered. Also tell the customer that you're happy to assist them in locating the package. Our suggestions for this include directly asking their delivery person if they remember the package and if perhaps they accidentally left it with one of their neighbors. 
We tell the customer to also check with the neighbors personally and to look around their own property. I've had at least 50 customers come back to me saying, oh, it was in the mailbox or, oh, it was on my front porch. I guess for some people, it's easier to ask me for a replacement than to go outside and check. My shop and most others online accept package loss responsibility in the event a package legitimately goes missing in transit. I have mailed over 30,000 packages, and this has only happened a handful of times. It's easy to tell. The tracking will not update for several days, and then the tracking will actually say something like lost in transit or just stop updating entirely. I usually wait maybe two weeks of no update, and then I do send the customer a replacement. Now, this is not true for international packages. This is obvious to most sellers, but not to many of our customers. I sell to over 100 countries, and I only speak one language. I do not have the ability to communicate with foreign postal systems all over the world, and I am unable to keep track of the ever-changing laws and tax rules of over 100 countries. As the importer of a product, it is the customer's responsibility to pay their customs and duties and to understand the laws of importing goods in their own country. In fact, it's illegal as a seller to pay these fees on the buyer's behalf without having a proper system set up through the importing government. Now, only a handful of countries actually have reliable tracking information. So Etsy's policy and my personal policy on international packages is if it safely departs the United States, I do not honor missing packages. I have had a few cases opened against me on Etsy for this policy, and Etsy automatically closed all of them. For international customers, probably 99% of the time, the customer either is refusing to pay duties or thinks I'll send a replacement product and the second package may accidentally slip past inspection and they won't have to pay duties on that second package. I tell international customers that in most cases they need to contact their local post and pay duties if the package hasn't been delivered. Their package is usually waiting to be picked up at the post office. When the customer gets upset about the duties, I remind them that the duties are their responsibility and this information was displayed well before checkout. If the customer refuses the package and it comes back to me, I will offer them a refund, but minus the shipping or they can pay to have the item shipped again. Similar to the marked as delivered scam, this is sort of a softer scam in which the customer doesn't think that they're stealing, rather they think that they can save money through loopholes that can be extremely costly for my business. Unless it's my fault, I do not reship for free ever. Unless tracking indicates that the parcel went missing in transit while still in the United States. I have had two Etsy cases opened against me for this policy that I just told you, and Etsy backed me both times, closing the cases with no fuss. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, up here, there's more scams that you need to know about, whether you sell on your own website, Etsy, Amazon, or just through PayPal. I post new content all the time, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more tips and tricks. Thanks.